What's going on YouTube? All right, so it's already middle October and we're getting in almost close to December now. Starting to look towards next year, so let's go into my plans for next year, what's going on the rest of this year, uh, best practices, why I'm selling a lot of my tools, and we'll just get right into it. So October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and it's a special month in our family. So if you have anybody in your life that's special that might need a reminder to go get their yearly checkup, let this be that reminder. Please get your mommy's boobs checked out. All right, let's get right into it, guys. Hired a full-time W2 foreman, basically to replace myself, help me, help myself. That makes sense. Uh, taking away tasks off my plate, basically everything. Mostly is not. He obviously can get his hands dirty. He can do work. He's actually a skilled tradesman, but he's more on the customer service end taking away um, things off my plate. That way I can focus on other things, keeping the business flowing, getting work in, selling jobs, et cetera, et cetera. But he's great with customers. Uh, he's uh, good with subs. He's strict with them as well. Knows, you know, standard operating procedures. Uh, we do not work on the weekends anymore. That is, it's a hard stop on all that. No matter what sub wants to do, whatever, it's an absolutely no. And I have it in my subcontractor agreement. I'll link in the description if you guys want a copy of that. I do sell that. But as well as a regular contract for customers. It is, there's a fine. I take off $500 per day. They want to work on a uh, on a weekend without prior authorization. For the guy who did that with authorization and he's getting $500 taken off his final and it's just my contract. I don't want to work. I don't want to have things go on. I don't want any additional phone calls in the weekend that I don't have to. If it's an emergency, fantastic, but you know, there shouldn't be too many emergencies. I shouldn't have to pick up the phone five, six, seven times a on a Saturday and then the same thing happened on a Sunday. So that being said, he's great with uh, subcontractors. He can handle my equipment. He can do dump trailers. He can back up my dump trailers. Like he's, you know, skilled in those. He's got common sense. So, so far so good. Saturday, uh, September was a trial period. And then so October being it's in October now, we're full blown going for it. And it's, you know, we have daily meetings at least by with phone calls and also in person too, mostly. We see each other almost every day, um, sometimes even on the weekends too, for whatever reason. So yeah, it's been working out. I, I like it. So far, so good. One W-2 employee, uh, full-time, and we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you guys updated on that as well. So next would be basically, I am about 85 to 90% off the tools, which means I am still doing low voltage work because I, you know, my electrician doesn't like doing it. I'm still doing other small tasks, mostly punch list work or small things that customers want done that... It just, it's such a hassle to get a subcontractor out there. Give me a price. Okay, cool. Change order, blah, blah. I can just, all right, I can do this part. I can give a customer a price right away. Knock it out real quick. You know, that's money in our pocket, in the business's pocket. Uh, and again, like s small things, I need to, you know, my contracts are based off of uh, certain things getting done before we can collect. So sometimes a subcontractor might not actually, you know, have achieved that. Or, you know, I haven't done a few things where my customers point out and I look at them like, yeah, absolutely. I can knock it out or I can send my guy there, knock it out. But if I need to call the subcontractor, get him back over there, uh, you know, working with multiple schedules, the less schedules I have to work with, the more efficient my business can run, period. So yeah, that's how, it, that's basically what, you know, what it's been going on. And obviously with this, me being 85, 9% off tools, uh, I can, you know, job site management is where I'm going for trying to keep things efficient and uh, keep moving forward on other job sites because I want to get things done, you know, get, you know, good reviews and keep going to the next job basically. So yeah, next will be, next would be basically I'm based, since I'm 85, 9% off the tools, I am basically selling all my and getting rid of all the multiple duplicate tools that I have. I know I got a, a crazy collection of tools and that's what exactly what it is. It's a collection. I'm not using these some of these tools I haven't used in, shoot, uh, over a year now. So because I either have multiples or I just don't use them, I haven't, I haven't done that certain project or I haven't done that job in a while because I have a subcontractor who does it for me. And so I can, I'm selling these, I don't need to, you know, I don't need to make space in a tool trailer for, especially a new tool trailer that's coming next year, uh, for tools that I'm never going to use and stuff that I'm never going to do. So basically purging my tools and also purging the services we do as well. I'll get to it in a second. It's just one of those things where I, I don't need it. I can sell it off, get some, you know, get some extra revenue and we can go from there. I'm still obviously keeping my batteries. I am purging. Uh, we're going to be going straight to a Milwaukee and Makita 40 volt line. No more DeWalt and no more uh, Makita, you know, the, the 12, you know, 18 volt or the 12 volt line either. 
Um, so it's going to be Milwaukee M18, M12, and the Makita 40 volt system. And that's what we're going to be doing. If I need a tool, and obviously Milwaukee MX Fuel, I have sold a my MX Fuel power station because I never used it. Again, that's I never used it. I used it once or twice, made a, a YouTube video out of it. It works fine, no big deals, but I just never use it. So sold it for something else, you know, extra, you know, uh, either, you know, money in, a, in the cash jar or, you know, put it towards a business or paying a bill or something like that. So uh, that's basically for my tools. Now, same thing goes. I am purging the services we do. I have a full-time bookkeeper. I basically can see what jobs are profitable and what jobs are not and what, what I can do. And and basically, you know, that's what I've been doing is purging my job. Okay, we this job we lost money on, so let's not do that anymore. We're not efficient on that kind of job. Let's stick to kitchens, baths, remodels, and uh, new construction. And that's what we're going to be doing. I know it's a lot, but it's, you know, we don't need to do those porches. We don't need to do that concrete work. We don't need to do the driveways. We don't need to do certain things where, you know, it's just, you know, if I don't have a crazy amount of experience in it, certain things can bite you in the butt, and they have, and I've lost money or not made as much profit as I wanted to to make the job worthwhile. So that being said, that's exactly what we're doing. We're just kind of trying to shrink the business as far as tools, the services we offer, um, and just kind of fine tune what we can do and be more efficient at it. So <clears throat> going forward, uh, the rest of this year being it's already October and then going into next year, we are basically way ahead of schedule as far as revenue is concerned. Uh, we do have multiple jobs going on and then we're trying to get it down. We are at one point, like I think 15 active job sites going on. Now we're down to, I think 10 or nine now, which is still more than we want to be. I want to be around four to six would be ideal, but we got to get to that point. We got to close some work out. We got to have some hard conversations with people. And again, I fired more subcontractors this year than I have, I think in the last two or three years combined period. So, and again, what that means, we've had some losses in the business and I just, I don't want to incur those losses anymore. I know last year was pretty good for us. We had some losses and I thought this year would be a better. I think we have had more losses this year than last year, but we've also had more revenue and more profit too. So it goes hand in hand, but at the same time, those losses hurt and they sting. So I'll get into another video about those. Uh, but man, let me tell you guys. Uh, and again, going into next year, we're going to have multiple uh, revenue streams and having a W-2 employee is really going to help out with the workload. I'm looking forward to it a lot, but... As far as the business is concerned, that's where we're at, guys. I appreciate it. Like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. I appreciate all the support.